your Garmin GPS, a overview map of a particular park. Um, what we need to do th with this is uh, use Google Earth and you're going to need a map from the park's website. So open up Google Earth and create a folder. I'm going to pick Lewis Morris. You right click on my places and then type in the name of your folder and you get this uh, folder called Lewis Morris and we're going to put everything in that folder. Now, something to help you get the idea of where the park is or what it should look like, get a download a loop off the internet, off MTBNJ or motion based or whatever, or one that you've already done so you can see what the park looks like. So now we have an idea of what where the park is and how big it is. We want to import the map. So you right click on your folder name, hit add, image overlay, not a photo, but an image overlay. You have to name it, so we'll call it map. And you browse to your the, the folder on your computer where you saved your JPEG map. You might have to convert it from a PDF or something like that, depending on how the park made their map. You open it up in Google Earth and it's now in here, except it's not doesn't really mean anything since it's not where it's supposed to be. Something to help you line it up now, which is what we have to do, is you take the opacity down somewhere around 60% so you can see through it. So then you can see everything all at once. Don't click OK because then you lose your controls for the image. Well, as long as that box is open, you can now move it around. And what you can see things is like um, the highway here, Route 24, and you can see that on your semi-transparent map here. And you can see that you need to stretch this map a lot. And I'm using Route 24 to line it up. And on the other side of the park is another road. We can use that also. It's unfortunate there's no constrained proportions button in Google Earth. So you have to constantly stretch it one way and then the other. Actually, we're looking pretty good. You can see that how the maps line up. You can use this to rotate this little diamond here. I need a little bit of rotation. And then what we're going to want to do now we can now we can turn the opacity all the way up. Okay. Click OK, and now we want to add our path. So you can click on your folder again, add path, and you, we can do name it overview, pick a nice bright color, and a width of about three. Now the entire path has to be drawn in a single straight line. Your Garmin can only recognize one GPX file at a time, and every line is its own GPX file. So the this entire map we can turn off the um, the race loop. The entire map has to be drawn in one single line. So we have our overview, and again, you have to keep this open. So click on properties. Now it's open. Now you have your your tool to draw. And um, start wherever you want, but keep in mind all one line. And we want to trace over all the known trails in the park. Now you can hold the button down and, and draw. And another trick is when you get to a straight part, you can just skip ahead and click again and it'll draw the straight parts for you. It's helpful for roads, things like that. And here's another trick. If you if there's like a piece you missed, you can select a point on the map and you can drag a piece around. Or when now once you're selected there, that's where you're gonna start. That's where the path will draw from. So go ahead and click and start to draw and it'll draw from the middle but it's going to keep that annoying straight line visible so keep in mind you have to always go back to where you started to get rid of that straight line. And when you want to start drawing again don't forget you have to click on the last point of that line to continue the line 
and when you get to a place where you can't go any further, just double back over where you were. That won't show up on your Garmin. It doesn't have enough resolution. And when you make a mistake like that, you can um, always grab these dots and fix them. I won't make you watch me draw the whole thing. So, I'll show you the one I already did. I drew out the whole thing, even this uh, walking path only part, in case you're over on this end of the park, something goes wrong with your bike, and you can get a ride from out from over here. So, it's good to have that stuff in there just in case. Or maybe you want to go hiking over there. Now what you want to do is get this into a GPX file because Google writes them as KMLs. So what you want to do is take your overview, right-click on it, save as. And we want to save it as a KML. So Lewis Morris overview.kml. Yes, that's, I already had done this. And once it's open, once it's a KML file, we use this interability called GPS Visualizer. It's www.gpsvisualizer.com, where you can browse your GPS file and it can read the KML. It doesn't read KMZs for some reason. And your output format would be GPX. Click Go. It converts it for you, gives it to you in text or this link here. We could save link as and Lewis Morris Overview GPX. Save. Yes. And with that GPX, we can now go into Map Source and file open the GPX file. And we can see what it's going to look like on our Garmin because most of us use the topo maps, and this is the topo map in Map Source. Now, what you want to do, you have this GPX file. Don't send it to your Garmin using map source just take take it in its folder and you're gonna to wanna to just copy it take this GPX file and put it in the GPX folder in your Garmin that's the best way to do it I'll do another tutorial where it shows you how to operate your Garmin to open up this GPX file but I think everyone knows how to do that um, I can just type that one out so then what you're gonna have is you're gonna have an overview that looks like this so it'll probably be a better color you can even you can change the colors in here. And um, another good thing to do is do a second map, second GPX file of say the race loop, and you can overlay it on the top of here. But watch the alphabetical order because the overview map will, sh if you're in the wrong order, the overview map will just lay on top of the race loop. You'll never notice the race loop is even there because it lays one on top of another. So keep your, I think what I normally do is um, call it something like Lewis Morris Zero Overview. That way it'll always come before Lewis Morris Race Loop. And your Garmin will read the file names as this file name. doesn't matter what you save this as. This doesn't matter. That's no bearing. It's inside this GPX file. There's this GPX track which this is the file that's going to show up on your Garmin. So be careful when you name these files. You can put multiple files in here because you can actually open multiple instances of map source. And I find this to be the best way to do it. And you can open um, anything like this map this of the torrent and you can copy it and paste it into here. Um, I usually keep all the, the I would keep all the Lewis Morris maps in this GPX file. The GPX file is is the line on the graph, but it also the GPX works as a container to hold many lines um, and waypoints. You can stick waypoints in this GPX file also, so you can uh, label some areas of importance. And uh, then your map is done. Um, I'll go into more detail online.